Once upon a time, a man named Albert Einstein dreamed up the idea that there were invisible waves in outer space that would shoot through the universe after extremely violent collisions. He called them gravitational waves, and he imagined them to be a little like the ripples that come after you drop a pebble in a pond, only instead of rippling water, these waves supposedly rippled space time. Now, not everyone believed in the waves because, well, they were invisible, hard to know if they were really there, but as the decades rolled on, more and more scientists all over the planet began to believe. <laughs> see, 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 like see. Wanda Diaz Merced, an astrophysicist from Puerto Rico who studies the sounds of space, or Hello, hello. Stavros Katsanevas, an astrophysicist from Greece who along with a growing number of scientists dreamed of building a fancy machine that would theoretically be able to detect if any of these waves hit Earth. And finally, after about 40 years of trying to convince governments to take them seriously, the believers succeeded in getting billions of dollars to build one of these fancy gravitational wave catchers. Now this machine, it has two arms, each over a mile long and filled with lasers that in theory will be able to detect if a gravitational wave passes through. And since the machine works by detecting interference in space-time, it is obviously called the... Inf inf Interferometer, yes. Interferometer. What's that new machine with those funky laser beams? It's the Interferometer. Right on. And how will these astronomers detect data from the universe? The Interferometer. That's right. Laser beams so strong, shoot three kilometers long, oh yeah. Interferometer. That's 1.86 miles, my friend. These beams of light are going to expand our understanding of the universe. We hope. We think. It's a complicated machine, but nobody believes in it like Stavros. And Wanda. Maybe everyone will believe something no one ever could see when an invisible wave riding through space hits the Earth. Let's fire this machine up, see if this thing works.